Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. Now, uh, we're starting to transition from winter into spring, one of my favorite times of year. The ice is starting to come off all the lakes and that is opening up some tremendous walleye fishing opportunities in states where the walleye season is still open, of course. And that means today we're fishing with Connor Kleist and headed to North Dakota, where we're gonna be fishing a little west of Gackle. Now, what I love about lakes in this area is they're generally small, they're generally shallow, and when you can get a day when you're gonna see some warmer temperatures with some strong winds, those winds act like an engine. They churn the lake up, they get the water kind of mixed up with all that warm air, water temperatures start to rise, and what we typically see is an incredibly strong walleye bite. Now on today's show, we're really threading the needle. Uh, the day prior to this shoot, the morning temperatures were 10 degrees. Yes, that's right. 10 degrees. Uh, we start the morning fishing at 48 degrees with temperatures expected to hit 70. But the wild card in the mix is we are expecting at some point today some incredibly strong winds. So this is a one day shoot, definitely a hero or zero situation. So uh, stick around. I think you're going to love today's show. It's me and Connor Kleist out in North Dakota chasing walleyes today on In-Depth Outdoors. Pretty start to the day. Yes, it is. Sun rising over there, moon setting over there. And walleye's biting over there. 55 mile an hour winds today. Sporty. Yeah. We're tailing down, maybe double anchor and spot lock. Maybe, maybe they'll be biting so good we'll down before it. On. A little guy. A little guy. Is it your crappie? Sadly not. A cookie cutter. <laughs> A cookie cutter. Quarter ounce. Well done. Yeah. Skunk is out of the boat. See ya, guy. Eighth ounce hot skirt. Eighth ounce green hot skirt with a big old juicy fat head and not aggressively jigging by any means. The slur, the drag. It's dragging it. Picking it up, bringing her back. Fish. Woo! <laughs> I can finally tell Marcus I've caught a fish or walleye in a hot skirt. <laughs> Pop. We're gonna catch bigger fish than that, let me tell you. you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Ah. The mornings hardly even count in the spring. Oh! Ooh. Ooh! If that's a walleye, that's a good one. I got that's my line over here a little bit. That is a walleye, I believe. Well, I've got a net. That was serious. That was serious. Yeah. 
How about that one? Did he crack it or was that just He a... cracked it and ran, but it's a walleye. Guaranteed, huh? I'd bet pretty good money on it. Oh, it's acting. It's doing everything right. Holy smokes, bud. It's a giant. Oh, oh my. Yes. <laughs> wow. Check out this thing. <laughs> wow. I would is say that, a, that is. I got a measure board. We're going to put a board on that thing because that thing is studly. Hot skirt, baby. Let's look at that. Wow. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> that is just, yeah. Eighth ounce hot skirts, fat head. She wanted it. Wow. Gorgeous fish. You got a pliers too up I there? I got them right there by the fish finders. Perfect. What a fish, bro. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Should we get her on a bump? Yep, let's put her on a bump and then we'll get her back in the water. Cool. Oh. What you got? 28 and three quarters? Just shy of 29. And for your next trip, <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> where, where do you go from there? <laughs> I don't know, but we'll get her back and see if we can top it. But wow, just a gorgeous fish. Healthy, ready to do her thing. Do its thing. See you, girl. Keep that board handy just in case, right? Heck yeah! Woo! Yeah! That's a fun way to start the morning right there. Well, there's worse ways, that's for sure. Yes. Let's see if we can do it again. Rain, boat spray, wind, and if you're unlucky enough, even snow. When your drive to work is a highway of water, you need outerwear that you can count on day after day, week after week, year after year. The Rapala Rain Pro and the Rapala Rain Jacket and bibs are exceptionally crafted using premium materials and fitted for comfort. With the right gear, you can weather the storm. Backed by a legendary name you can trust. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. They say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. Having a hard time finding the gear you need to get your boat ready for spring? At Reed Sports, we have a huge inventory of Hummingbird, Garmin, and Lowrance Electronics, including the Garmin LiveScope all-season bundle with a $200 rebate. We have the largest inventory in the Midwest, but act now. It won't last long. Give us a call at 800-346-0019 or find everything for your boat at reedsports.com, where we offer the best service, best price, best advice. Guaranteed. You know, one of the things that I always look for, ice goes out, you start to get those warm days, uh, 30s, 40s, 50s. It's not until the temperatures overnight stay in the low 40s that I get really excited. Last night, well here, to put it in perspective, two nights ago, the overnight low here was 10 degrees. Last night, the overnight low, overnight low was 48 degrees. And that's really what I look for to really get these fish kicked into high gear. You don't have those overnight swings in water temperature. And they just get crazy aggressive as they lead up to spawn. These shallow lakes out in the Dakotas, these fish spawn so quickly. I've fished with Marcus a couple times down in South Dakota and you'll still have, you know, thin pieces of ice around the shorelines, water temperature at, you know, 41 degrees and the fish already spawned out. Did you have another bump? I did. I think I got another one. I'm, I'm, I'm digging on oh. your color there, bud. Oh, you got off? Oh. That one did not look as big, though. No, it did not. 
Thankfully. Fish. We're right back to him. Same spot. Same spot. Winter's over, bud. Oh. Of course, we say that tomorrow morning, it's not going to feel like it. <laughs> you want a net? No. That there is a perfect eater. I'm not keeping, but come here, you. Feisty. Eef. Next time, I'm not going to turn down the net. Probably about a 17 inch fish. Mad as heck. What's going on right now? We see it on the uh, side imaging. You'll see groups of fish. You'll see one big one and three to six like that. So you got one girl, one female, surrounded by a bunch of suitors just following her around. She's probably not ready to spawn yet, but they know she will be soon. So they're not letting her get too far away. It is amazing though how you notice, you know, when you get bit, you cast right back in that same kind of area. And even before, you know, when that big girl ate, it was three casts in a row, bite, bite, bite. Yep. And then you'll go 20 minutes looking for that next pod, find it, make hay while you can, keep looking. There's one. Is he getting better? No, but he's up at the surface. A Not tuna. A bad one. A skipper. I never even got to jig. I cast out, closed the bale, and he was there. I'm here, gate. Well, that's one way to ensure there's no operator error. Just let the fish do all the work. Whoop. There we go. That's Haven't changed one. up a thing. Eighth ounce VMC hot skirts with a fat head. On and the absolute furthest portion of your cast possible. Absolutely. <laughs> as far back as you can, but not snap jigging it, not doing nothing crazy. Just pretty much uh, picking it up, letting it drop back down. We got a strong wind, so pitching to the back of the boat, keep the line taunt, pick it up, drop it down. We'll get her back, but uh, yeah, nothing crazy. Don't have to be aggressive with it this time of year with cold water, but uh, they are here to eat and they are hungry. So see if we can get another. Available in six technique specific models. The new custom series spinning rods from Akuma offer tournament grade performance at a price all anglers can afford. Built on SCT blank technology featuring a dual helix carbon fiber wrap, Deadeye custom series rods offer an ultra responsive blank that will handle the biggest walleye on your favorite bodies of water. Find the Deadeye custom series at your favorite sporting goods store today and see for yourself why Akuma is inspired fishing. Does your sonar offer dual spectrum chirp, producing razor sharp images on an ultra bright HD display? The ability to tailor the display to the way you fish. Precision GPS functionality with legendary Lake Master mapping to move effortlessly from ice to open water. If not, you should be fishing an Ice Helix, the electronic system that offers all the features and performance successful ice anglers demand, only from Humminbird. Introducing Suffix Advanced Fluorocarbon. A new level of suppleness. A new level of toughness. A new level of sensitivity. A new category of fluorocarbon. Hello, future. Fish, things are happening. Ooh, all good things. I think these fish have just outdistanced us. I need to fall back some more. Yeah, they're just getting shallower and shallower as the wind picks up. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that warmer water is just piling up on the yeah. shoreline, and there's just an, a buffer area where it, I, I bet you it's two, three, four degrees warmer. Yeah. They're just they're just gonna stay in it. This is a little nicer fish here. I mean, it's not a giant, but I'll have the net ready for you. Appreciate you. I'm here. Get up here. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Is that a big male? 
That is a big male, isn't it? Heck yeah, that's the biggest male today. And that's the woof you want to see right there. Chance of that fish getting off is uh, 0. 0.0. 0. <laughs> <laughs> Pliers, I got it right here for the last one. Thank you. Absolute engulfment, if that's a word. Yeah, super nice fish. Probably uh, oh, 18 and a half, 19 inch. I'll fire him back and get me another one because that was definitely a bigger male and they would typically run with some of the bigger females. Ooh, ooh, ooh daddy. It's just fun setting the hook. Doesn't feel too bad. You holler if you need a net. Maybe a pike? No, nope, we're pike. both wrong. Halfway decent wall, I got it. You got it? You're good. All right. That uh, thing was furious. A butterball. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. I would have swore that was a pike. You owe her an apology. I do, I do. Nice fish, and she cracked that. VMC is still doing the same thing I've been doing, hot skirts. She's getting a little tore up now, but just the way we like it. Cool, nice fish. We'll get her back. See ya, girl. Whoop. Spunky. We're up to 42 degrees already. That was a crunch. Not a giant. Man, are they aggressive. Fierce. You know, the crazy thing is you go over to the non-windy side of the lake, temp will probably be about four degrees colder, and you couldn't force feed these fish. Get up here where it's windy and it's warmer, and they're just crazy. And we're not on any like spawning structure by any means. You no, know? they're no. just up here just getting warm, waiting. Waiting for the right conditions. That thing's all the way in there. Yeah, because when it comes time to spawn, I would assume they go over on that riprap. Yep, up on the riprap, culverts. Did you miss one? <laughs> oh yeah, I missed one. It's getting pretty good now. <laughs> Hook sets are free, I'm just trying to lay some. <laughs> Pour the coals. Yep. There's one. Not bad. I'm reeling. <laughs> I'll get her boat side here. Well, you've already came so far, you might as well. I'm in it to win it. Nice fish. Heck yeah. Crunched it. Thank you. You're welcome. Another upper teens. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. And as you can see, <laughs> a little hungry. <laughs> a little hungry. <laughs> So what I was doing there is I was sitting here, we've been fishing back behind the boat and always, you know, keeping an eye on the electronics and noticed that there was, you know, a couple males looked like a little bit bigger female with them as well, but quick little pitch to the side of the boat and wow. So always trust the electronics. Uh, they don't seem to lie, especially in these soft bottoms. Those fish really seem to push or show up really well on those hummingbirds. So uh, another nice fish. Been a really fun morning here. Heck, this is kind of, awesome. Kind of excited to see what uh, the day brings. So, see you guy, but yeah, always trust electronics and uh, it's always worth a, worth a pitch. It's at least one cast worth. Yeah, yeah, can't hurt, so. But there's a few more over there, I believe. Need a minna. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com.
Glacial Lakes Dock is now Glacial Lakes Recreation. Located in Starbuck, Minnesota, we offer the same great location, staff, and service with a new name to better fit our ever-expanding business. As an authorized dealer and service center for Yeti and now Alumalite Ice Houses, we have you covered if you're looking for a new house or just need a little service. Stop in today or check us out online at glaciallakesrec.com and make this ice season your most enjoyable and comfortable ever. Ooh, looks like another mill. But I knew he ate it. <laughs> I knew he ate it. You got the old donk. Uh-huh. Come here, guy. Oh, we had a double and oh. I goofed it up, bud. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Pinned oh. her to the bottom. You still got a chance. I let the team down. <laughs> I'm like, oh, and he made up for it. <laughs> that is a double. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this on button here. There we go. Little male. Nice fish. Let's see what James has got. We'll get her back. It's a 19. Want a net? Nah, I got it. If it gets off at this point, it's all good. <laughs> but it's not gonna. <laughs> no, I can't see the jig. <laughs> yeah, just the tail left. That fish was thinking. It was winning big and was in for a surprise. Whoop. There we go. Beautiful fish today. Of all sizes. I think your second fish of the day was that almost 29, and that's probably that 19. Uh -huh. So everything in between. <laughs> Later, fish. And the combo here. So we're fishing slightly different. Not that. Connor is totally relegated to fishing straight off the back of the boat. Wind's going straight to shore, right down the center line of the boat. He's fishing an eighth ounce head, and generally speaking, he's gonna fish more behind the boat because he's got a lighter jig. He's got that one eighth and live bait. It's a great combination. Uh, the one eighth allows him to fish slower, natural live bait. Just makes sense to just give those fish more time. Uh, I'm fishing out to the side so our lines don't tangle, so I have upsized to a quarter ounce jig. I'm spending more time out to the sides with the wind kind of blowing on my line, driving it along. So that little extra weight to go from an eighth to a one quarter gives me a little bit more control, keeps that bait from just kind of getting blown out by the wind. And as you can see, when the fish hit it, they just, there's no doubt. Even though I got a little belly in the line, uh, I might miss them once in a while, but I, I definitely know when I get hit. All right. We must have had a little uh, piranha pod come through. Uh-huh. So the way I fish this bait, make that cast come tight, get that as much belly out of it as you can, and then it's just pull forward, reel down, pull forward, reel down. There's a lot of this really greasy looking weed. Ooh, Connor just got one. Greasy looking weed on the bottom in here where if you let it rest on the bottom or drag, you're gonna pick up that weed and then that's not appetizing to the walleye for sure. Good fish, Connor man. You know, it's not too bad. It's uh, it's dogging me more than I think it should. But I'm just letting her play yeah, out. It's definitely a walleye. I got I saw it out the corner of my eye. I got a double. That's two doubles in a row, bro. <laughs> Things are going good. Yeah, actually, I might grab a net for mine. Mine's pretty decent fish here. There we go. Oh, nice. heck yeah, Connor. <laughs> I'll take mine over yours any day. Uh, well, yes, even if it was a walleye, mine's a pike. <laughs> Another nice fish. Another gorgeous, probably low 20s here, but really thick, really healthy, well built. And once again, a little slower presentation for me, but they are not hesitating by any means putting that fish or putting that jig down their throat. So a fun morning and a lot of nice fish. So cool. Get her on button, we'll get her back. She's definitely got things to go do. See ya, girl. Bye-bye. See you later. They are hungry. Yeah, if you get the waves rolling into a spot like this, it can get even better. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, 
We got her. Ah. Smart guy wears a wet hat. Yep. That's yeah, all part of it, you know. It's just, uh, it can't always have all the right conditions. But yeah, this is a little extreme, but at least it's only gonna pick up, right? Yeah, we wouldn't want, if it went flat calm, the fish would probably stop no. biting. You are on. Man. That's three cast in a row, bro. Hot hand. What's a nice walleye? Want a net? There we go. Nice. Come here, you. <laughs> oh, here we go. Heck of a nice fish. You know, we'd be just fine with about half this wind velocity. We do love the wind like this in the spring on these warm days. You know right where to find the fish. This is too much of a good thing. Who knows how long we're gonna be out here. If, if you look back. behind you, there's a dust storm rolling in. <laughs> <laughs> I can taste it. Yeah, it's in the teeth. <laughs> oh my. All right, I don't think we're gonna be here much longer. The geese just blew away. <laughs> what do you mean? Just went three for three. Yeah, well, that anchor's dragging. We're actually slow trolling. Yeah. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of today's show. Uh, raise your hand if you've ever fished in 60 mile an hour winds. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we chickened out. Uh, we got to about 40, 45 miles an hour, and thankfully we pulled the plug. Uh, it was a tremendous bite uh, from the moment we got out there but it really started to come together and get intense just before we had to leave the lake. It was one of those situations where uh, I think a little wisdom, a little age uh, prevailed as far as decision making goes. Because let me tell you, by the time we got that boat back on the trailer, the wind was coming in so hard, so furious, we could hear the gravel rocks being blown across the parking lot and bouncing off the truck. Uh, that to me is a sign that uh, it's time to go home. That and the uh, dust cloud bearing down upon us from across the lake. So I appreciate everybody tuning in. As always, I wanna say a huge thanks to Connor Kleist for taking the time out of his busy schedule to get out there in the boat with me. There's never a dull moment when you're fishing with KK. So thanks for tuning in. We're gonna be off chasing another hot bite next week. So make sure you tune back in. Same time, same place, here for some more in-depth outdoors. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.